with sirens in the background, city noise. Right there is a Brazilian skipper. You can actually see the caterpillar, the shadow of the caterpillar right through the leaf. She's in there. Oh! Whoa, fatty man. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Keys Moz. We're here with the fine children. And we're in Broward County, Florida, and this is part of our Wacky Worms series where we're looking for uh, butterfly and moth caterpillars in the wild, and we want to show you how to do that. Today we're looking for the Brazilian skipper caterpillar. Uh, it's a Calpodes ethleus. It's a, it's a tropical skipper butterfly, and their caterpillars feed on this canna lily. Uh, I think you're going to be interested. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so we're looking for Brazilian skipper caterpillars, and what you're going to do is you're going to look on this plant right here. That's called canna lily. Uh, the canna lily is the larval host plant. So what we're going to do, skipper caterpillars always fold a leaf over them over themselves. So what you're going to look for is little leaf folds, and inside of those leaf folds will be a caterpillar. Why don't you guys start taking a look? And if, if you guys ever have bought canna lilies from a like ladybug. a department store, you got a ladybug? Hey, no, don't let it die. Oh. Well, if, you got, if, if anybody's ever bought canna lilies from a department store, uh, you know that once you put them in the ground in South Florida, it's not a long time before Brazilian skipper caterpillars tear them up. What? So you see this is a good sign right here. Whenever yeah. you see leaf damage like that, you know that Brazilian skipper caterpillars aren't very far away. So let's keep looking. that side oh what you got there a fold. is it a fold yay oh you got one Sophie good job that yay cool see, see that's, that's like a fold. that's a I believe that's a third or fourth that's probably a fourth in star larva and you see how transparent the uh, I can't believe I found one yeah right you see how transparent the skin is you can yeah. actually kind of see through it and you can see all the all the green coloration on this guy uh -huh. is just the the digested leaves inside of his big so he's really big, clear he's very clear oh there's a brazilian skipper female floating around very good sophie yay good find but we're going to look for a couple bigger ones because we don't want to uh take the smaller ones we'll see if we can get a full grown one so we're actually it. just look i found another one found another one oh there's a bigger one yeah. I can't believe I just found one. Yep. <laughs> you just found a bigger one. That's a that's a final instar right there. Very good. Oh, I found a couple. Is this oh, a bigger yeah. one? Yep. So that's that's a bigger one. However, he's got quite a bit, quite a long way to grow. So, so do we need to find a bigger one? Yeah, we'll we'll look for one a little bit bigger than him. Okay. Oh, there's a white peacock. Oh, these here so we remember you. Yeah, we'll we'll leave him there. We'll okay. see if we can find us a bigger one. All right, Lorenzo, check that one out. That leaf's got some folds. So let's see if there's anything in ah. those little <laughs> in those little tents. So check out those those little folds there. What you got? Nothing. Nothing. There. Hold on. Here, let's take it. Oh, there's a, there's actually a female there. Nothing. Nothing there. Nothing. No. Oh, oh, that's a big one there. Yeah. I'll, I'll bet there's, she's in there. Oh! Whoa, fatty, man. Yeah. <laughs> that is a fatty. Okay, that's a full-grown Calpodes ethleus larva. That is a Brazilian skipper caterpillar. Oh, Lorenzo, fold. good one. job, buddy. A big one, too. Big one? See what you got in there? Is that another one? Oh, I don't think so. Oh. Yep. Another one. Good job, dude. So, All right, look, you're, look, there's another one. Brazilian skipper kings and queens. Uh, oh, there's a very big, like, this thing is so tiny. Little tiny guy? Oh, look, there's another this. one. Yep, okay, so that's, that would be a third instar. Oh, find another okay, one. Okay, easy, easy. That's a third instar yeah, caterpillar. Yeah, like this leaf. Oh, it's a baby. Babies, little tiny guys. Cool. <laughs> All right. 
This so, rain feels so nice right now. Awesome. It's like, so, it's like 97 degrees out here. It's, it's pretty hot out here, right? A little rain is actually pretty welcome. You can see this Brazilian skipper floating around. That is a female Brazilian skipper, and she is looking for a place to lay eggs. Now she took off. But, oh, a towel. <laughs> There's a ton of butterflies around here. There's a white peacock. Guys, that's, that's crazy because this is urban South Florida, right in the middle of Coconut Creek. We're actually at the Coconut Creek Community Center. And there's just a ton of butterflies and you just gotta know, you just gotta know how to look for them and where, where to find them because it's South Florida. It's hot, forgive me, I'm sweating. That's part of the deal in South Florida. But you just have to know where to look in your backyard and you can find some pretty cool bugs. Uh, the Brazilian skipper is one of them. They've got a real thick muscular thorax. Um, real big head, short antennae. But when they want to boogie, man, they, they move. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Brazilian pip skipper larva. Wow, so you can actually look and, f and see the caterpillar. If it's in the light the right way, you can actually see the caterpillar, the shadow of the caterpillar right through the leaf when the sun is backlit, backlighting the leaf. So there is a nice fat Calpodes ethlius Brazilian skipper caterpillar. You know, let's get it in the light here. There it is. There it is. Brazilian skipper caterpillar, everybody. That's a fatty right there too, man. He's, he's almost full grown. That's a final instar larva. And you can actually see that the skin is almost completely transparent in this bug. And you can actually see the veins. And uh, well, I don't know how well this picks it up, but you can actually see the, the little heart pumping the blood up and down the body. I saw that guy before. You've seen that guy before? He's cool and he makes that little tent to try and protect himself. I bet, I'll bet if we actually put that guy up in the light, the sun might even shine right through him. With sirens in the background, city noise, right there is a Brazilian skipper. Yeah. It's a fast, fast bug. There's another monk. Asbolus capuchinus. Frappuccino, Frappuccino butterfly? Frappuccino. <laughs> That's actually a fiery skipper. Hylophia phileus on the blooms of the canna lily. The Brazilian skipper's host plant. Female. Pretty cool. Oh, there's a Brazilian skipper right there. There she is, resting on her host plant, the canna lily. Uh, I'm actually. I'm actually in the water right now trying to get close to this thing because these lilies live right in the in the water you got to give a like because my dad is yeah. getting so dirty right now yeah I think I think this deserves a like if I'm getting in this nasty water oh she flew yeah I think this deserves a like Sophie thank you for your support babe because yeah this it's kind of gross I wasn't really thinking about that should have worked should have wore different shoes. <laughs> okay. There's one. Brazilian skipper. Oh. Booyah. That is a cool bug. Oh, this one's actually eating right here. Let's see if I can get it some. You see what they do is they hide, they make these housings. Oh, what's that one? Oh, it's an orange bar. Orange bar sulfur? 
Yeah, cool. They make these housings for themselves by, oh man, he just, he just scared him and went inside. But the Brazilian skipper, and most skippers actually make a little housing for themselves out of the leaves of their host plant and they will uh, kind of chew up a, a piece of the leaf and fold it over themselves and make a little housing and that protects them from predators and they just stick their heads out uh, while they're feeding and, and feed on just the edge of the leaf and they keep their bodies inside of that tent to try and protect themselves as much as possible. So pretty cool. There's a bunch of them here today. Super cool. Wow, we found a lot of Brazilian skipper caterpillars here. Uh, they were all over this stuff and it was cool. Wasn't it neat to find all those caterpillars? Yeah. And we saw a lot of other butterflies too, yeah. right? We saw some white peacocks, we saw some a monk skipper, we saw some uh, crest, checker spot, crescent spot butterflies. But the cool thing is we found what we went and looked for. Just because we've got to know what the habitat is, we know what the host plant is, and you just know what to do and what to look for, and it helps you find the caterpillar, right? Yeah. We hope you liked this video. If you did, smash that subscribe button. <laughs> you gotta subscribe, man. Subscribe to the, this video and turn on your notifications bell because we're gonna be looking for a lot more of South Florida's caterpillars and we're gonna show you how to find them. So if you subscribe, you'll get the videos and you'll get the information. So give us a like, thumbs up. Thumbs up on the bottom. Uh, we're on Facebook and Instagram, right? What's our website, guys? www keysmods.com we've got a lot of information there uh, thanks for joining us this day uh, until next time let's get out there take care